Okay, so this is basically my metal detecting vacation wrap up. So, we, in case you don't know, we just got back from detecting the beach in Florida. We did hit a few other spots, hit a little bit in Georgia and a little bit in South Carolina. But, anyways, it was a fantastic time. I uh, got to hit a whole bunch of different beaches. Of course, I'm no beach pro. We live in Montana, so it's kind of my second year doing that. And I feel like this year went a little better than last year. I uh, did learn a bunch of stuff. You know, this time of year, I feel like you get quite a bit out of the dry just because, you know, so many people have hammered the wet and it's not really getting replenished. But I did get some really good finds out of the wet. So, uh, as you can see, I got a zillion cars. Um, that's probably not all of them. I think we gave a few away to some little kids. We got a ton of fishing weights. Those will go great in the recycled bin. <clears throat> and then there's so much bling. You know, some of these, like those gold necklaces, those were just kind of heart stoppers for a second. Turned out to just be bling. But as you can see, just a ton of pieces. This one right here, especially. I got that at night during uh, low tide. And when that came out, I was like, oh my gosh. But, um, yeah, most of this stuff is really cool, but uh, definitely bling. There's some nicer bling in here if you check out these rings. Man, so many tungsten rings. And I know they're not really worth anything, but as far as bling goes, those are pretty fun. Um, got a little bit of drug paraphernalia, I think. This is a, you know, a weed, I guess, a, I guess you turn it into shake so you can roll joints. And I think this might be a little cocaine spoon, not sure. Um, if you know what they are, let me know. Got the cap to a tooth. I had another one, but I, I've since lost it. This, I believe, is a bird band. Look at that clad pile. Now there still might be something good in there. I haven't had time to sort through all those coins and make sure there was nothing old or silver that we missed. And you know, some of them are just in such bad shape. You just never know. A uh, bunch of foreign coins. Yeah, Chinese. This is actually a penny. I just thought that was kind of neat. It's just, it's just down to just a wafer. But there's a bunch of Chuck E. Cheese tokens in there. Fake Real. This is actually my second Fake Real. I got one in Montana, believe it or not, that uh, was like the size of an 8 Real. Did get a couple Wheaties. Now, we did a group hunt in South Carolina, and I never showed this, but... And there is more. This was just what I grabbed. Um, this is part of a seeded hunt, so I don't really count it. This will just go in, like, my investment silver. Uh, you know, obviously... Uh, it's not a, you know, like a wild find that was planted. So uh, I did a little bit there and then I just headed out into the woods and I was able to get a few relics out there. Got a nice old uh, mason jar lid where the milk glass or porcelain is uh, perfect. Got a bunch of pieces of cap gun. Now I've found a lot of way nicer cap guns than that. So I don't, I don't think I'll probably hang on to that one, but this was kind of a cool spoon that I got. It is silver plated, unfortunately, not silver. A couple of buckles. Uh, I do have a, a button here. I don't know how old that is. It's kind of got this weird side mount, so I don't think it's too awfully old, but I don't think it's like new either. I mean, I don't know, 40s, 50s, 30s? I don't know. You tell me. And then I did keep this one. This one's kind of interesting. Um, I don't really get into head stamps. And, you know, I tossed a zillion of them, to be honest. But I just like the markings on this one. And I did look this one up. And it seemed to be really early 1900s. So that was kind of a cool little head stamp. Uh, razor blade. This is my favorite relic. Um, Boy Scout neckerchief slide. Unfortunately, um, 
during the group hunt, not a lot of stuff was found that was great, but one guy got a real, another guy got uh, some sort of um, old copper, and then one guy got a huge piece of bling, like, it was huge, I wish I had a picture of it. Uh, it looked like gold at first, but it was really light, and it was just full of gems, like it, just this huge pendant, like the pendant was probably almost as big as this. And then it was on a huge gold chain. And so it was probably a prized possession of those people back then, who, you know, that didn't have a lot of money, but it, but it was fake. But it was a really cool piece of land. So on to the good stuff. So all this up here is silver. So this is going to be gold-plated silver when this came out. I really thought at first that this was a pull tab because it was dark and then I rubbed it and I was like, whoa, that's so smooth. So I was hoping that was gold, but that one ended up being 925. So these three were actually dug by my wife. Um, she, she broke her arm right before we left, so she wasn't able to get a whole lot of digging in. Uh, she tried and my son dug a lot for her, but uh, unfortunately that's... She wasn't able to get any gold this time, but she did get three silver rings, so that's really cool. Um, this is like some sort of designer bead. That ended up testing 925. You know, earring, this one was kind of funny because I just got the the piece of the chain that says 925 on it. And then this is just a really small pendant earring. Uh, this one I thought at first when it came out it was going to be gold. This is also gold plated silver with a uh, mother of pearl. I actually found this one online so I know exactly what it is and how much it costs. This one when it came out I actually thought it was bling because it, believe it or not, is so light. Like the way it's designed, it does not feel heavy at all. But that turned out to be a really cool uh, silver ring. This little microscopic thing actually tested silver. And onto the gold. So this is probably the smallest gold ring I've ever found. It ended up weighing like quarter gram and it tested 10K. Uh, this ended up being a 14K. This one I think has an emerald in it. And this one was 18k. This was actually the first gold ring I found. So behind Trump Towers, I got this uh, gold earring. And this one actually has like six diamonds on it. Those did test positive. And then this all seeing eye pendant was also 14 carat. This is 14 carat white gold. I got this down in the wet. That was an awesome find at Jacksonville. I was super happy when this came up. This actually uh, ended up being a 15 on the Knox. And this one right here, believe it or not, was in the wet. And it was right where the waves were kind of peeking through. And I don't think I told this story, but it was just barely poking through. And as I went by it, the sound that it gave off, it actually sounded like a piece of foil. And it was even kind of fluttery, like foil, kind of giving a blah, 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 blah. And I took one step or two steps past it, and I thought, yeah, it's foil, I can see it. Moving on. And then I thought, wow, what are you doing, man? Just go pick it up. And I walked over, and it was not foil. Ended up being this big, chunky, white gold ring that's 14K. And then the coolest thing about this, I don't know if you can see the pattern, but see how that light makes a star on there? So that's a star sapphire. And I guess those are from like Sri Lanka. Anyways, that's super cool. I've never dug one of those before. So I ended up getting, you know, seven pieces of gold. Uh, I didn't actually get a ton of silver. There was actually, for a while on the trip, I had more gold than I had silver. But as you can see, as I lifted a little higher, and my wife has one of the... She has a silver toe ring on the, that I found, so that's actually not represented here in the pile. But if you count toe rings as rings, 
we ended up with 40 rings on this trip. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I think overall it was a fantastic trip. We're actually sad to be gone. We came home to just miserable winter conditions. I mean, I thought when I got home, like, oh, I'll just go out and do some water. Well, water's frozen. It's like 10 degrees outside, snowy. But the truth is, we would like to move to Florida. So hopefully that'll happen in the future. We do have our restaurant up for sale. So should that sell, I think we're out of here. I think I need a little more beach in my life. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.